Hi guys, this is just a quick uh, response to somebody had posted the question about using channel links with a relationship instead of a direct link. And uh, we, you would use a uh, you would use a relationship when you don't have direct one-to-one -one correlation with the values being input. So in this case, um, if I move this locator, which on my mesh, which is my ugly little wheel, is loc is uh, parented to, uh, if I move this locator one meter, I don't want the rotational value of the wheel to just equal one degree. That's not going to uh, really correlate to anything and it's going to be hard to even read it. So what I want is when I want this to move one meter, I want it to move whatever that percentage of a rotation um, and that I want to get out of the final thing is here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, my wheel here and select that and then I'm going to choose channel links uh, because whatever you have selected when you um, open up channel links will be loaded into the driven and then I'm going to get my mesh or rather sorry get my locator and click load driver so I have the driver and the driven and what I want is I want the X position on my locator so I'm click the position X to correspond to the Z rotation on my wheel so I don't want this to be a direct relationship remember I want this to be a regular relationship that I can control the values and how they correspond to each other. So with that done, I'll click add link and this is going to get in the way here. So there we go. Um, so I can go straight in here to the graph, which is how I really prefer to do this. Um, it's a lot easier to control where your, where your values are. Now I happen to know from having run through this once that the wheel um, needs to rotate negative relative to the uh, position of the locator. So I'm just going to put down here somewhere in negative space um, a look another um, uh, another stop on my graph so middle mouse button and the other thing that I want to do is I want to change my both pre and post constants oops, to linear not repeat there we go that way this will continue on even past the values that we input here so I know that it's zero zero I want this to all equal zero zero so that's perfect and then when the rotational value equals 360 Oops, sorry, I put the wrong thing here, so let's remove link. I was wondering why that said meters. So, yeah, here, let's go back here. I'm going to choose this. You can see I've got it set to position Z. I just want to remove that link. Uh, set that to rotation Z. There we go. Now we'll add the link. And now we'll go to the graph for that. All right, so let's try this again. <laughs> So let's just click over here in negative space, pre and post constant both to linear. And so at this point, I want it to be zero and zero. And at the next point, I want to get to negative 360 degrees. And I want that to happen when the input is two pi times the radius. So the um, two times the radius is 1.9, I think it was 5.3, something like that. And I'm Oops, I can't type 953 um, times pi, so 3.1415926, something like that, 5. <laughs> uh, you don't need to go to that kind of numerical depth, I'm just being funny. So uh, uh, there you go, it's 6.1355 about uh, is equal to 360. So now if I grab my locator, get my move tool, lo and behold, it rolls, and it rolls the appropriate amount. And if we switch over to, say, our front perspective here, we'll be able to see that it does indeed stay stuck to the ground. So this is pretty close. Now, you can always get a little closer with uh, more degrees of numerical accuracy. I think I was off on one digit by the actual circumference of my my wheel there. So, um, But it's relatively close. So there you go, using um, the channel links with a relationship as opposed to a direct link. Hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.